uh, what kind of merit he had, what kind of affinity he had, that he can be born into a very rich family, and what kind of sin he has committed, so that he's been born, though a man, but has no no sense, no, no eyes, no ear, no etc. etc. Uh, please tell us. So the Buddha said. Uh, if you want to know, I will tell you. Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Aulaxis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Salam Ramah, Derek Sing Podomulyo, Jenengku Kun Setio, Asal Surabaya, Nah Indonesia, Sing Warno Warni. Tadi negara kepulauan sing paling gede nok dunya, Indonesia duweni pitulas sewu walu pulau sing paling jelentrek mulai benua Asia sampai Australia. Dadi negara penghasil rempah-rempah, Indonesia iku negara sing penduduke paling akeh nomor papat sak dunya. Muteri ewonan pulau gae garis pantai luweh teko wulung pulau ewu kilometer. Laut tropis Indonesia sing anget yondueni macem-maceme kauripan sing dhuwur. Ditambahi maceme ekosistem sing rinciane rupa pantai. Gumuk pasir, muara, alas bakau, watu karang, jelentre ane suket laut, jelentre ane lumpur pantai, tata ane munggah mudune banyu, jelentre ane ganggang, lan ekosistem pulau cilik. Karo jumlah pulau nesing gede, wis gak ngaget no, nek nang Indonesia duweni kiro-kiro telungatus kelompok suku. Saben si jine, duwe tradisi sing unik lan nyenengno. Iso ngai nyumbang kanggo budaya modern Indonesia sing terus berubah. Moho guru Ching Hai duweni welas asih sing gede kanggo rakyat Indonesia sing wis mari ceramah nang negara sing mulya iki. Tahun rong ewu pat belas, sang moho guru ngirimi surat kanggo sing mulyo Joko Widodo. Gawe nyampe no ujian selamat merga kepilih tadi presiden Indonesia. Sang moho guru mareni surat angete kanggo sing mulyo karo nyatak no kanggo sing tak arep no paling api muga suarga ngekei berkah sampeyan karo rakyat Indonesia sing api atine. Seneng sak klebat iso bagi ajaib lan kaendahan Indonesia karo sampean kabeh. Muga saben dinane sampean kabeh diparingi kepuasan lan seger kuarasan.
suwene luwe teko telung doso warso Mo guru jinghai wis madangi dunyo iki karu ajaran ilahi moho guru Salah si jine guru sing duweni kesadaran paling sempurna Moho guru ngajari coro ngelmu kuan yin marang sopwai sing kepingin cepet Nemok no gusti pangeran sejati sing ono nang jero batin Ben sepisan lakoni urip nong dunyo iso ngoleh no kebebasan sing langgeng teko ulangan lahir mati Coro ngelmu kuan yin wis dilatih karu kabeh guru sing duweni kesadaran sempurna Contohnya Buddha Yesus Kristus Nabi Muhammad Rukun karu sing kuasa Lan guru nanak Ambek liane jik akeh Moho guru Nekeno poro murite kudu terus iling karu gusti pengeran sing moho kuasa Lan ngelayani tanpa pamrih karu sopo wai. Lan melu aturane alam dunyo Poro murid kabeh ati ngoleh no peluang kamu liane teti menungso Lan bener-bener mahami tujuane menungso manggon nang bumi Moho guru cinghai iku ngono conto urip sing nyontoni soko sifat kaulas asiane Corone sing genah yo api nek maringi sumbangan barang karu duit Lan karu trisno sing luweh-luweh marang poro pengungsi gelandangan korban amue alam Lan sumbangan lione sing diperlokno Ning tahun rongewu enem Moho guru nrimo anugrah gusi kerukunan sing dianggap dadi anugrah nobel kerukunan teko wetan lan wis dianugrahi sak suwene taun-taunan karo akeh penobatan liyane lan aleman merga laku lomane lan rasa kemunungsane moho guru sing luweh teko sak madya Dadi suara sing iso dijagakno gai kauripan bangsane kewan nang alam iki sing nyenengno moho guru nyebarno pola mangan nabati sing kebek olas asih lan rukun yo ngimpekno munjule kesadaran menungso sing kesakralane kauripan kabeh donya vegan sak kebeke sing tentrem lan mulya dadi Dewan lan menungso urip nang jerone keharmonisan sing nyenengno. Ajaane moho guru gae nyebarno kebiasaan vegan liwat macem-maceme coro lan nyebarno selebaran pilihan lakon urip. Jaringan restoran vegan antar bongso loving heart, supermaster television yo rutin melu ngomong marang pemerintah sing duwe pengaruh. Lan pimpinan-pimpinan wahono melunang jero musawaroh layar koco kaitane urusan perubahan iklim sing disadari utowo enggak karu wong kabe rekodoyo sing dilakoni moho guru wis duweni pengaruh gede marang kesadaran global urusan gaya kauripan sing ramah marang kewan lan yo opo carane kebe Kebecian iki sing nekakno kerukunan sing langgeng nang antarane bongso bongso masih san nyelametno planet wong akeh teko berubah iklim wis tahun tahunan suwene moho guru cinghai wis tekan macem macem pelosok dunyo teko Amerika nang Afrika teko Eropa nang Oceania lan ngagakno atusan ceramah kanggo masyarakat umum lan murid-murid moho guru kaitane macem-macem topik spiritual dino iki kabeh murid diberkati supaya iso nekakno salah si jine ceramah sing wawasane luas lan judule cerita buddha karma elek teko kelakuan sing keadil bagian kesiji teko loro seri nang jero lakon antarane guru karo murid sing disampekno gawe basa Inggris tanggal 8 Agustus 2015 nang Prancis I like your <laughs>
나는 그녀처럼 회색 옷만 입습니다. 아, 그냥 여러분 보는 거예요. 입고 싶은지는 모르겠어요. 너무 더워요. <웃음> like the king, you know? 왕처럼 부채질만 해야 될것 같아요. Good, good. Everything ready, then I say. In the former time, the king and queen always have two people, two sides, you know? Fun like this. Yeah. Yes. Very economy. No, no need electricity. Good, good. Yeah. <laughs> Just sit anywhere, sister. Sit anywhere. Oh, very Korean. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. Mm. Hello, my beautiful karma. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to read you a story? Buddhist story, yeah? Okay. There are three types of stories. One is about being a monk. One is about terrible karma retribution. Yeah. One is about how to get rid of your 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 poor, your your poverty. Which one you like? All or three? Yes, yes. Very good. You stay here until next month. <laughs> okay. I have a problem. You keep twisting the right eye. What does that mean? In Vietnam, it means you have money coming, right? Is that correct? In Europe also? Why are you shaking your head? I mean, not. Is that true? Why do you do that? Uh, let me uh, know. No. Yes. Oh God. Just like India. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. 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 So, so how many people like to hear the merit of being a renunciate? You know, of renouncing everything, become a. How many people like merit of becoming a monk or nun? Yeah. How many? How many want that story? Raise hand. Okay. So nobody likes to be monk. Not too many. <laughs> Huh? One behind. One behind also. Wow. Why are you hiding behind there? You don't know one vote is very important. Hmm? Don't you know that? Okay. Yeah. Now, who want to to hear the uh, retribution of uh, bad, you know, bad judgment? Raise hand. I think they don't understand what I'm saying, huh? All these people don't understand that. So. Oh, this is uh, Chinese? Speak Chinese? Aula, uh, okay. And you understood English, no? Yes. How come nobody raised any hand? <laughs> too tired, right? <laughs> it's too hard. <laughs> too hard, you raise the hand and... <laughs> Everything melts in the heat, right? Okay, I ask again. Okay, I ask again in three languages. Including Russian <laughs> and Bulgarian and Hungarian and uh, you know Korean and whatever. Okay, there were three stories. The, f the first one is the immense merit of becoming a monk or or letting somebody else become a monk. The second one. The second one is the the. The terrible karma of being uh, not fair, not judged, you know? Yeah. And the third one is uh, how to sell your poverty. Sell. <laughs> okay, sell. How you sell your poverty. So, which is the. Who wants to hear the first one? I can't read all this. Who the first one? Raise hand. 
that you don't have to be a monk, you just want to hear it or not. I didn't say you have to be a monk. <laughs> it's not everybody can become a monk. Okay, how many? Okay, oh man, not too many, only one-tenth or something, right? Okay, so who want to hear about the terrible karma of being unfair? Very good, very good. Who want to hear how to sell the poverty? Ah, so all of you are very rich. <laughs> That's why you don't care. <laughs> okay, all right. So I read the, the majority, you know. According to Buddhism and the believer and the tradition, when you read sutra and all that, you have to put on incense, flower, you know, and bow to the sutra first and thank all the Buddhas and Bodhisattva in ten direction, all respectfully, before you read it, okay? And then you cover the sutra also with silk, you know, beautiful cloth, and I just make it more popular, yeah, more easy, simple. And I apologize to all the Buddha. I say, if I've done something wrong, according to the tradition, my heart is full of respect. It's just that I cannot always do that. So please, all the sin, whatever I've done wrong, is all on me. At least other people, they hear the names of the Buddha, according to the Sutta, they will get benefit. Yes. The... Uh, the bad karma of being unfair. Yeah. yeah. He's not just unfair, but here is telling lies. Mm, mm, not telling the truth. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Therefore, it's unfair. You know, unfair because telling lies. Yeah. Okay. You know, at, at the. Uh, at one time, the Buddha was in Kap Kapilasuf, I think, country. At, uh, at the Ashram Kida. Ah, that's the same, the golden, golden paved country, uh, golden paved garden. And, and teaching uh, the whole, the big assembly about many different things. Yeah. Okay. In that city, there were one uh, rich family who has three or uh, five, who has five girls, five daughters, but no son. And his wife was pregnant at that time, then he died. Mm. And the last time the wife is pregnant and he died, you know, the rich person died. Yeah. In that country at that time, any family who has no son, and if the, you know, if the, the parents die or one of the parents die, then all the property will belong to the government, you know, become the public property. Meaning, meaning they confiscate all the property of any family who has no son. That is the, the law at that time, okay? Yeah. So after the rich uh, man died, the local government came and uh, want to, you know, confiscate all the property. Mm. The eldest daughter, of that family came up to the queen and the king and, and said to the king, you know, Your Majesty, uh, my father had just died and we have no, no son in the house. But at the moment, my mother is pregnant. So could you please delay the, you know, the fine, the confiscation until my mother give birth. Who knows? Maybe it's a son. Yeah. 
because at that time, if my mother gave birth to another girl, then you still can confiscate our property. It's not that late. Yeah, not too late. So the king back to Nak. Uh, after listening to her thirst, uh, he prays that it's correct. So it's okay. He, he said, yes, what you said is logical. It's correct. I will tell the local uh, officials to delay the confiscation. Don't worry. Okay. So the, the girl went home, you know, prostrate to the king and said goodbye. Not long after, the mother, her mother, uh, gave birth to a son. But the only thing that is son about him is that the the man uh, organ, yeah? The rest, he has nothing anymore. He don't have nothing. He doesn't have arms. He doesn't have legs. He doesn't have uh, ears. He doesn't have eyes. He doesn't have mouth. Not the mouth like we have. Maybe just a little hole or something. So he has no tongue either. So it looked like, a, you know, a bundle of meat. But nevertheless, the male organ is very uh, obvious. So it's a man. <laughs> and then the, the, elder, the eldest daughter came to the king again and, you know, explained everything like that. And then after the king heard thus, and he was thinking, thinking, and he thought, well, even though your young brother is uh, like that, but uh, nevertheless he has a male organ, so it's uh, counted as a boy. Yeah. So, okay, uh, all the properties belong to all of you. We don't take it. Good king, good king. Yeah. yeah. But I wonder why a good king would confiscate people's property. Ah, having a son or not having a son, it is still their properties, yeah? Yeah, their parents working hard to save it, you know, working all their life in order to earn it and save it. So no matter if they have son or not, it should belong to them. Hmm? Hmm. I guess it's like this. I guess if, if it's all the the girl would marry off into the, uh, you know, their husband family, so probably they don't need this property. So the king wants to take it in order to do something good, maybe. If I were him, I would not take their properties to begin with. And if somehow it is correct to take, then I would use it to do something good. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Helping the poor people, building more hospital, school, you know. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Hmm. All right. So the, the eldest daughter, you know, thanks the king profusely and then went home. Hmm. Even though they won all the properties back, but he feel, she feel very sad. Yeah. She feel like ah, such a um, such a brother who doesn't look like human at all. I have no you know no eyes, no nose, no ears, no tongue, no mouth and I just have a little <laughs> difference is there, and then can take, you know, the whole property. What kind of, you know, I'm a girl, I feel useless, yeah, helpless, uh, no value at all. What kind of, what kind of country, what kind of law is this? It's, it's very illogical, yeah, unreasonable. And then she felt very upset about being a woman, can you all hear me at all? Yeah? Behind there even? Yes or no? Good, good, good. Okay, because the microphone is very low. Okay. 
Uh, we stay for a while and then I have to leave. Okay. Uh, so after that, she she was she was uh, angry with being a, with herself being a woman and angry with the unjust system of the law, and then she left her home. She went to another uh, uh, family, you know, yeah, and became their servant. Yeah. Uh, and uh, from morning until night, she, you know, she make food, she offer food, she offer tea and all kind of things, very, very respectfully, you know, very, very, you know, nicely and gently, very good. Just like one of their servants, yeah. Nearby this family where she became, you know, almost like servant, you know, voluntarily, even though she didn't have to. Mm. There was a, another rich person, she, not, not the same family that she served, is nearby, another rich person, a rich man, yeah, come and ask her, uh, sweetheart, your family is very rich, why do you have to come here and become a servant like this? Yeah. Why do you have to do this? Why? Yeah. So the girl said to, to this uh, rich man, Dear uncle, my father is dead. And then uh, our family like nothing. We are very, very rich, that's for sure. But then we have five bro sisters. So normally, this, fa this uh, property would belong to the government anyway. But then, luckily, my mother gave birth to our younger brother, who doesn't look like a human at all, has no eyes, no ears, no tongue, no nose, and no, no legs, no arms, and just a piece of meat there. And the only thing uh, mainly about him is his male organ. And then, but even then, the king say this, okay, you know, it's a man, so he gave the property to, to us, and to, to my brother. Mm. I'm thinking, I have been thinking that being a woman is so useless, helpless, worthless, no value. Therefore, I was very sad. Therefore, I come here and work, yeah. So the uh, rich person said, oh, oh, don't, don't be so sad. Stop it, stop it. If you want to uh, liberate yourself from the woman's birth, woman's birth, for being woman, and uh, in the f next life become a man, then come with me to pay a homage to the Buddha. Okay, so the girl came together, went together with the rich man. And then after prostrating the Buddha and pay homage to him, the rich man say, praise be the world honored one. Yeah. Mantele, uh, what kind of uh, merit he has, what kind of affinity he had, meaning the, the brother of that girl. Uh, what kind of merit he had, what kind of affinity he had, that he can be born into a very rich family, and what kind of sin he has committed, so that he's been born, though a man, but has no, no sense, you know? No eyes, no ear, no... etc., etc. Uh, please tell us. So the Buddha said, uh, if you want to know, I will tell you. This, this, uh, this story has uh, gone far back, you know, many lifetimes before. There were two brothers from the very rich family. Yeah. The brother is named so-and-so. <laughs> the, 
the younger name so and so. Okay, Tila Teja, okay, huh? Yeah. And then <laughs> the big brother is very um, morally well, a gentleman, behaving good, and always often give uh, charity to other people. Mm. Whoever is poor and helpless come to him, he would give some uh, something to help them mm. until they become better, yeah. until they can stand on their feet. So the whole country was very much uh, respecting the big brother. Mm. And then after a while, the king also heard of him, so let him become like the the national national church eh? in the Supreme Court. Okay. Because he thinks he will be very fair and, and just in the whole country. Yeah? He's a supreme church, yeah, in the in the whole country. Okay. Uh, at that time in that country, anyone who wants to borrow money no need to write anything complicated, no need. Just go to the church, you know, this supreme church, and uh, he say, okay, then it's okay. <laughs> then he became the witness of this transaction, yeah? All right. Uh, maybe he just uh, write a paper or no, he just said no, he didn't even write paper, he said, okay, yeah, I witnessed it and it should be fine. So later when they, they pay, repay or something, then it comes to tell him, and he would remember. Maybe he must have like a video recorder or something, you know, hidden camera. Because <laughs> how can he remember all these people, you know? Maybe he has good memory, yeah? yeah. Maybe people trusted him so much that that would be okay, and no one dared to transgress the law, yeah. Okay, uh, there is a, you know, rich family, the father of these two brothers. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 this is a different one. No, no, there's another person named Tila Tejak. He's very, very rich, and he often uh, lend money to people with, for, 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 with interest, you know, so they repay him. Yeah. There was one, one time, there was a merchant came to him to borrow a sum of, a very big sum of money so that he can go out and do business. And he agreed and gave him the requested money. So before they, you know, giving the money to the uh, borrower, they all both go to, uh, at that time, you know, when before, when they want to give the money, they go in front of this uh, Supreme Church, yeah, so that he can witness it, yeah. At that time, he also took with him his uh, young son. He has only one son. At that time, he's uh, very, very young. Mm. And then he come and say, uh, Your Honor Church, this uh, merchant borrow me big sum of money. And then he's go so that he go in uh, across the sea to to do business. Uh, please uh, be a witness for me. And if I die early, and my son here, even though he's still young now, but you know him, and later this merchant should pay repay the money to my son if I die. So the judge say no problem, be at peace. Yeah. Main point is this merchant will go out and uh, having safety to come back and have business, a smooth transaction, you know, for, for his business. Okay, after a while, uh, the father, Tila Tejat, truly died. And then the merchant, the merchant came, went out to the sea to do business, but unluckily there were uh, you know, a typhoon and all that, so his boat capsized. Luckily, he has found a piece of wood, and he hang on to that, 
yeah, save his own life, came home. Yeah. Sederek sing api atine, matur nuwun wis melok gabung karo sedulurku kabeh nang totoan lakon dino iki sing judule cerita budo karma elek teko kelakuan sing keadil. Bagian kesiji teko luru seri antarane guru karo murid. Pancetawai karo supermaster televisyen supaya oleh kapar sing luweh api. Sakwise, polai mangan vegan sing tentrem. Benang abang nang antarane kabeh guru sing paling dur kesadarane. Bagian ketelu teko papat seri. Jerone lakon tembung bijak. Tepak sak marine kabar sing patut disemak. Muga ulas asih sejati swarga, madangi dino-dino sampean kabeh. May heaven's eternal love illuminate your days. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash bmd.